is Jack's girl and I am sitting here with my daughter. She's watching television. We're spending some time together before I go off to work and I thought I would do a little stitching with her and well while she's sitting next to me and um, I thought I would give you guys an update on where I am. I haven't gotten much done because as some of you may know I am in school and I'm working right now on statistics. Oh. I love it. I love the statistics, statistics, but it. I got to a place that's kind of like hooked me. And um, from reading other people's messages online, everyone's kind of getting stuck in the same spot. So I don't know if they don't explain it very well. I am going to meet with one of my friends tomorrow who has already passed the class. And we're just going to go over what it is exactly I need to do because some people have found the little loophole on how to get past it and to get around it safely and easily and legally <laughs> legally so I'm gonna see what I, it is that I can do because as much as I love it and as much as I want to learn I have to keep moving along so anyways enough of that nonsense so let me show you guys where I am last time um, I showed you guys that I had built the wall around in the two little gardens here and um, then I had started on the top here so yeah, I haven't done very much um, in a month's time, but usually I just put in like one color, maybe just one part of, of what I'm doing because I really don't have much time. I enjoy taking my time. I'm not trying to get this done quickly or anything like that. So sometimes I'll only put in like a few stitches. Um, so I did the, the darker green color. And then next time I picked up my needle and thread, did like the lighter green. And sometimes, like I said, only half, half of them are just a few stitches. I try to keep my threads short because um, with well, this, with the greens was okay because I can just kind of keep going through. It was kind of a checkerboard. But when I got here, I wanted to just cut off the thread and not drag it, even though there's only... A small like you know space between I just didn't want to um, it looks like those two are touching anyway um, I yeah, that looks weird it's like magnifying here on my yeah, it won't focus anyways oh well it is what it is um so as you can see you know there's like some dark purple and then a light lavender and then white there were some quarter stitches in there no is it a three-quarter stitch along in here which sometimes was difficult if I put my thread down and then came back a few days later because it was sometimes hard for me to see where you know the white on this light fabric but um, there would be like one, two, three, four, five, maybe five of one color, and then so it was kind of slow going. I'm doing pin stitching to hide the threads. Um, the other challenging part was to figure out where the back stitching is. So there is some back stitching. Let's see if I can zoom in. Um, as you can see, here is a little back stitch there, and then in here, and here, and then there and see where they came along there. So um, that uh, that was a fun little challenge. Like that. So now I'm here, and I'm not quite sure what this plant is. Um, there's some light green that's gonna go in there. I'm using DMC. So this is, this is what grid I'm using, let's see. 3348 is going to be the next one. So it's going to go in here along there. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is going to be in here around there. Then I'm going to back stitch, and the back stitch on this one, I'm just looking at it, it's kind of crazy. So it's, um, but I finally figured out it's kind of a diagonal. So, <clears throat> excuse me. 
it's going to be diagonal and kind of like a stair step. So once I figured that out, that's gonna it's gonna make it a lot easier to figure out that back stitch. And then I think it goes around. But um, yeah, so that's where I am right now. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little fast video. I'm um, I'll be working on this some more. I'm gonna try to give myself some more time with doing my craft because I miss it and I need breaks from my um, stitching, but or my um, schooling, but usually when I'm not doing something to do with the school, I'm trying to do some housework, keep up on that, and make meals and things, so it's fun. I enjoy it. It's a good part of my life. Um, I don't know. Everybody's got things to do, and somehow we all manage to finish in some stitching when we want to, right? All right, you guys, take care. God bless, and talk to you guys later. Bye.